But if you want to know a company that I think is the one to buy with this, it's Caterpillar. They had an analyst meeting yesterday that was just stunning. And they are both good for alternative energy and for carbon energy, uh, for carbon capture. Uh, Jim Mumpleby's doing an amazing job, returning a gigantic amount of cash flow to the shareholder. Deer reports this week and Caterpillar. And they're both the right. The Caterpillar could even go higher than this. A lot of people say, well, how can you recommend Caterpillar into a recession, Jim? Look at their mix. The mix of what they have is much more geared toward energy. Ch- China, by the way, is only about 5% now. Of cat. Of cat. You, yeah, you always used to think, ooh, geez, sure. cat. I got to sell on that. No, cat is a uh, lot of infrastructure, but really a lot of energy of all kinds. It's a very exciting company now. Yeah, well, it's the, it's the top performing Dow component at the moment. And Uncle B did talk to Jim last night. Quick listen to that. Demand is very strong around the world. We, we mentioned in our last earnings call that our sales would have been even higher if not for supply chain constraints. But still, very proud of our team. They were able to increase sales by more than 20% last year in 2021, despite the supply chain challenges. And in the first quarter of this year, we're able to turn in double-digit sales growth, again, despite those ongoing challenges. Uh, I, uh, having covered them years and years ago, historically conservative guidance. True. Right? And Uncle B is uh, using Caterpillar to redo something on it. Said, it's just wrecking my whole lawn. And I sent him a picture of it. And he said, you made my Saturday. Great. It's like a huge fight between me and my wife. You made my Saturday. This man lives and breathes this industry. Uh, he is in touch with the customer. He's in touch with the dealer network. In touch with all the people, all the steel that you need to make them. And I would say this. This is a new cat. This is a caterpillar that is so disciplined that you would actually think about buying it. Going into a recession, in, right. which is incredible. Is it, it was the first thing you're supposed to short yeah, cat. Yeah, that's that's the playbook. By the way, in, in terms of CEOs that are that you enjoy, who are cerebral and get it, Uncle B. Uncle B. Uh, I just enjoy his company. I think he's a remarkable man. You mentioned China, and Carrier does get cut at B of A today. I know. On on residential HVAC, uh, and they argue they are the highest exposure relative to peers. I think that that Dave Gitlin is doing a remarkable job. I would not sell that stock. They are doing some incredible things uh, when it comes to uh, the right kind of, of, of fluid and refrigeration for the environment. Uh, yes, they do have an HVAC component, but the, they, they have a huge industrial component. The stock's already down 30% for the year. Gitlin is a very, very smart man. And I think if you sell the stock here, you got, you got, what, you got three down, and then the next thing you know, you're in a new cycle, and his cycle is about the environment. He is so deeply committed to producing the kind of HVAC that is good for the environment that his European sales are going to take off. What? People are just so short-sighted. Gitlin is one of those executives, like Judy Marks and Otis. These are the people who came out of the yep, United Technologies. Yep. They're cerebral. They are out thinking the analysts. When you sit down with these people, you're conscious. What they're trying to do is say, we are going to save the environment with ours. Because 40 percent of, of the electricity is used by buildings, and we are going to change that and make it great. And I, I totally enjoy these people's company.